Hey, Bobby. Tony around? I was called in the surgery. Is it important? Oh, it's not an emergency. You don't mind my asking. Would this have anything to do with that little scene I walked in on last night between you and Tony? After I left, you didn't ask him about it? Oh, please. I have enough problem dealing with what's going on between Tony and me. I really don't want to play referee in the other aspects of his life. I understand. Probably a very wise choice. That was no big deal, like I said. Just me and my brother disagreeing about everything. No, in this case, my role in Felicia's life. Uh-oh. I, I can't tell you the attitude that he has. He's being extremely protective. And I can't believe she allows it. You know how independent and strong she is. You know, he's been that way ever since they got back from Cairo. Bobby, I'm telling you, he... I mean, it's fine if he wants to play Big Brother. It's just at this point, I don't think it's any of his business. Well, now, wait a minute, Frisco. It is about family, and you know how he is about that. I understand how he is, and, and I respect that, but you can't believe the attitude. I mean, he, he's he's angry at me. <laughs> Join the club. He feels that because... because I missed Georgie's birth, that I, I forfeited my right to be part of this entire picture. You know, I thought that he would be supportive. I thought that he'd be happy that I, I came back and that he'd want me to work it out with Felicia. Instead, he's giving me a ton of grief, and she's doing the same thing. Mm, good for her. Well, you can't expect her to make it easy for you, especially after your last visit home. Perfect. Now everybody's ganging up on me. Ah, just a little. I think she ought to make you work for a little bit. And what about you and Tony? Can we discuss that? Ugh, please. You don't really want to know. No, I do want to know. Because maybe my answer's there. Is this attitude of his because of what's going on in his life? Or what's going on in mine? No. We've been through so much in the past year. You know, since BJ died. I mean, it's really been the longest year of my life. Yeah, in Cairo, Tony had mentioned things were a little rocky. Well, that was an understatement. And it wasn't just BJ, you know. I mean, she was, she was certainly a factor. But, you know, I thought about it a lot. With you and Felicia, I and mean, with everything that you've been through, you two have never deliberately tried to hurt each other. At least, not on purpose. And you and Tony did. Yeah. We became experts at it. Until we realized that the person we were hurting most was Lucas. I mean, thank goodness kids are so resilient. You know, we're in therapy. Yeah, I heard. Oh, boy, that's an eye-opener, you know. Feels like sometimes we're taking eight steps backwards. But, uh, we've finally been able to call a truce. And, um, we've finally been able to stop taking shots at each other long enough to let some of the wounds start to heal. Good. I mean, it looks as though you're getting along okay. Yeah, well, you miss most of the fireworks. But, like I said, we call the truce. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's tenuous, but right. it's there. So, you think you... May you find your way back? The way it was? No, never. But I really feel that Tony and I can probably have something very good together. And about 80% of the time, that's what I really want. What about that other 20%? I don't know. I don't know. I guess I still want it. I mean, in spite of everything that Tony and I have done to each other, and as much as the man infuriates me, really the only man I want to be married to. Including me? Oh, please. I have enough trouble dealing with a man who's actually here. I couldn't handle <laughs> one who was practically invisible. Of course, that might solve all of my problems. Well, don't count on it. So how long does the therapy last? I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling very fragile right now. You know, I feel like I'm walking on eggshells, and when I make one false move, I can just shatter everything. Yeah, right. Tony's been living upstairs this whole time, huh? Yeah, we haven't touched each other. How about some unsolicited advice? Why not? If I were you, I'd put your gloves on. Fire it up a little bit. Meaning? Well, let's face it, Bobby. You're not one to be shy. Get in there. Fight for what you believe in. Get after it. Are you serious? Absolutely. You can't walk on eggshells your whole life. You gotta get in there. You gotta, you gotta mix it up a little bit. See what you both can come up with. Now, come on, don't tell me you never thought of that. Actually, I haven't. Well, I'd give it some thought if I were you. 
Otherwise, nothing's gonna change. Anyway, I gotta go. Huh? Come on. Okay, where are you going? Well, believe it or not, I'm taking my family on a picnic. Am I a domestic kind of guy or what? Oh, good for you. You want me to tell Tony you were looking for him? Yeah, do that, will you? Tell him to lighten up, huh? Oh, yeah, right. I'll let you do that yourself. See ya. You know, they can carry a hundred times their own weight. They can? Mm-hmm. Where are they going? They're going back to their nests. They're carrying food so they can feed their families. So what's so fascinating over there? Yeah. Billions of them. Billions? Maybe more. Mm. Did you know they can carry a hundred times their own weight? No, I didn't know that. Can you do that, Mommy? Well, sometimes at the end of the day, I feel like I've done that. I can. I can do can? it. can? Mm-hmm. A hundred times your own weight. No problem. Piece of cake. It's like you're not already bigger than life to her. Daddy knows a lot of stuff. It certainly does. Will you teach me it? If you want. Of course you can't teach me if you're not here. Well, but I am here. For how long? Well, I don't know. Maybe forever. Don't tease her, Frisco. I'm not. So, where would you like to start? Tell me more about ants. Ants. <clears throat> Let's see, ants. I can tell you about Aunt Helen. Don't do that. Who's Aunt Helen? Nobody. <laughs> I don't know any Aunt Helen. <laughs> Oh, yes, you do. No, I don't. Stop it. Don't yes, do that. You, do. you know her a lot better than you think you do. Stop it. Don't throw things at me like that. Oh, <laughs> child. Excuse me. Help me, Georgie. Georgie. Help me. Maybe I should start with how we met. Oh, this will be interesting. <laughs> how old was I when we met? Well, you weren't even born yet. Your mother was practically a child. I was not. Anyway, I remember it was, um, it was late summer. Spring. It was very warm out. Actually, it's been raining about a week. Anyway, <clears throat> there I was, fast asleep. Snoring like a freight train. And your mother snuck into my room and hid under my bed. Why? Well, because I had something she wanted. He had something that belonged to me. You mean he stole it? No, I bought it with my own money. You bought it from somebody who stole it. What was it? A ring. It's a family heirloom. Someday you'll have it. So anyway, there I am, fast asleep, and your mother's hiding, and all of a sudden I hear this noise, right? And I wake up, and there, right in the middle of the room, is this... Boy. A boy? Well, it wasn't a boy. It was me. I was dressed as a boy. But Why? Was it Halloween? No, not yet. I, I was just practicing. And, but I saw through it in a second. Did not. I did, too. No, you wrestled me to the ground. You didn't know it was me until you wrestled me to the ground and you saw my hair. I saw through the disguise in two seconds, You did Felicia. not. I did. What are you doing? The ants are still hungry. See? Oh! Oh, honey! Oh. Yeah. What was that all about? I wish I knew. 